Good afternoon. In this video, I want to briefly talk about the fact that dispensationalism is not about salvation. Whether you hold the view of pre-trib, post-trib, pre-trib, dispensationalism, or not dispensationalism, has nothing to do with salvation. And uh, that's, a, that's an area of soteriology, not an area. And the, the dispensationalism really deals with ecclesiology and eschatology, doctrine of the church, what the church is versus Israel, uh, and the issue of, of course, prophetic events and how Old Testament uh, books relate to the future. It has nothing to do with salvation. So here you got Brian Denninger talking about uh, post-tribbers believe they are safe from hell, but somehow not safe from God's judgment and wrath, which is poured out on the lost world. I want to save people during the tribulation? <laughs> what are you talking about? A lot of martyrs in the tribulation. So every time the world goes through a tribulation period, you know, where there's a lot of suffering, Christian suffering, uh, that somehow that proves that these people can't be saved. Um, their, their profession of salvation, which includes the resurrection, does not uh, match the scriptures. Now, it might be a problem being consistent with believing the post trib view when you're saved, but that's an issue of what do you what do you think of the church? The church is not Israel. Israel, the time of tribulation, is for is for uh, Israel. So it's called a time of Jacob's trouble, which is mid trib people. Uh, 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 people. As not beginning of Daniel 73, that's mid 73, that's when all hell breaks out. But, uh, and this guy, he keeps calling that time Jacob's trouble. But the fact is, is that uh, dis uh, dispensationals have something that nothing to do with salvation. Uh, post trip might be incons uh, inconsistent. The problem is in the ecclesiology. They don't understand, recognize the fact that the church is not Israel. Israel has a future, a national future in the millennium, uh, and that the church is not going into. For that reason, church is not going to tribulation because God owes Israel seven more years of that Daniel 70th week. So it's, it's for Israel. And by the way, it's a finishing up of the Old Testament. Sluder and these guys are saying, well, it's a transition or it's a continuation. Or it's another dispensation, whatever. No, it's a finishing up. Some things have obviously changed since it's post-course, but the, the point is it's a finishing up of Daniel 70th week. It's not a new dispensation, and it's not a transition. It's a finishing up of the Old Testament. But uh, I just want to get up there. Uh, I'll link it to this guy. You know, post-tribbers need to be saved, you know, and, you know, he thinks he's saved. You know, he's not. This guy has more conditions for salvation than the Pharisees did. And uh, the fact of the matter is salvation is very simple. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That, you, that he died for your sins on the cross, rose again from the dead, physical resurrection, not a spiritual resurrection, a physical resurrection, and you're putting your full trust in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. It's that simple. Notice I didn't say repent of your sins. Notice I didn't say make a confession with thy mouth. Nor did you tell you ask, you know, or, or make a prayer to ask God to save you. I still haven't got a word back to say, well, wh which is it? Is it confession with the mouth you're supposed to do, or is it ask? Because Romans 10 9, 10 says, if you confess with your mouth, you're saved. Now this, but these guys say you have to have Romans 10 13. So which is it? So that's the simplicity of the gospel. It has nothing to do with various other views on doctrine, uh, do theological issues. Uh, now theology proper, some areas in theology proper might bleed into soteriology, the idea of who Jesus Christ is, the fact that he's God in the flesh, uh, in that aspect. But the other, the other areas, see, the, 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 the theology is lined very logical. And these people have just thrown out all consistency, all logic to uh, systematic theology, the concept of the, theology is built logically uh, on, on, uh, on doctrine that interacts with other doctrines and you get, a, you get an edifice, a hierarchical structure of truth. And... Um, these guys want to make everything just kind of just floating everything around, you know, just oh, over here, over here, over here. So let's stop with this up and deal with some other subjects and um, just point out when you see these these guys telling you this guy can't be saved because he's a post trib, this guy can't be saved because he's non dispensational, this guy can't be saved because he's a pre trib, this guy can't be saved because he's a dispensationalist, they're lying to you. Anderson guys will say dispensationalists can't be saved. You know, nonsense. And they, they, these guys all claim to be, oh, yeah, look at us. You know, we, we believe in, you know, simple gospel. And they not know. And since the same way, he's got, he's got calling upon the name of the Lord. And says a necessity of calling upon the name of the Lord for salvation. So he's got the sinner's prayer as being a requirement. 
for his salvation as well. That's why he's so tight on, on the idea. Well, no, you got you to make sure they say it. You know, say this in his prayer. So uh, he's voting, of course, and the same, he has the same view that the Dengler has, that eternal security is, is, is phony to him because there's no eternal security because all they say is everybody disagrees with him is wrong. It's going to hell. Everyone disagrees with Brian's theology is going to hell. Everyone disagrees with Anderson's theology is going to hell. So that their eternal security is, is bogus. You got a bunch of phonies out there, these fringe groups. And uh, then you got the Ruckmanites say, no, there's no eternal security in the Old Testament. Like God's going to lose his sheep. Or they were quasi sheep. <laughs> you know, like, well, they were real sheep, you know. <laughs> so let's stop this up. Amen. Thank you.